Hey Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea and it's reading. We're going to find out who's been thinking about you today and what have they been thinking about. Today is the 4th of July 2024. Oh, by the way, happy 4th of July, but I'm 12 hours ahead of you. I'm in Malaysia. But anyways, time here in Kuala Lumpur is 7.51 a.m. And Virgo, I'm giving away a free personal reading once a week for a lucky winner. To enter, hit like, subscribe, and comment below. I love Virgo. If you have commented before, you can do it again. It will increase your chance in winning. And winners will be announced on the community page weekly. All right, let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo. Who has been thinking about Virgo today? And what were they thinking about? Let's find out, Virgo. Thanks for being here, Virgo. I'm also a Virgo, by the way. Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I'm getting a very, very specific message here, and it's not for all of you, okay? So you may have someone you work with or work for who who has been thinking about you today because something was being said about you okay and they are like sort of keeping tabs on you as well page of swords and love verse this person could be a libra gemini Chris, virgo capcom taurus fire sign aries sagittarius leo okay that's the specific message but you do have someone thinking about you and also spying on you besides that message which, which i feel like it's super specific and the Knight of Pentacles, this person could be Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. I already mentioned that. Six of Wands in Love verse. You may have someone thinking about you today because Five of Cups in Love verse. They want to talk to you about something. Eight of Wands. Um, this Five of Cups in Love verse, they want to talk to you about something, but they're still not very sh uh, sure when to say these things to you. And because the Knight of Pentacles is here, so it's a very slow movement, right? But you may also have a copycat because the page of swords do read him or her as a copycat. So there's this copycat maybe thinking about how you do things at work. How do you work? You know, what do you do or what you do for a living? Unless it's that specific message like someone's watching you if you're doing your job because people have been talking about something about you, okay? It could be something good, but it could also be something not so good. But if it's a good thing, it feels like it could be uh, evaluating you so that they want to give you a raise or promote you because the six of wands is here, some sort of recognition. It could go vice versa, so you should know where you stand if that's your storyline, okay, Virgo? But you have someone thinking about you today in regards to what to say to you, 801s, or whether to offer you um, a confirmation, a commitment, and the hangman and a verse. I feel like this person is starting to see something positive about you, but they may be thinking, what if I was to approach Virgo and I offer this to Virgo and he or she says no and rejects me. Okay, so, uh, Ace of Wands and Six of Wands in reverse and Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. There's also someone who is very curious about asking, you know, asking you where are you going next? What are you doing next? Perhaps this person wants to know and it feels like they're not just thinking about it. It feels like they would like to ask you personally. Okay, let's see more Virgo. Queen of Cups, this person could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So Nine of Wands could mean maybe this person is a bit afraid. He or she may be kind of guarded. And they really want to say something to you, but definitely has fear of being rejected. Four sorts of averse, very restless energy. And this person has been thinking a lot about you and obsessively uh, stalking you again or spying on you. Queen of Cups, doesn't matter, he or she is not gender specific. Perhaps this person loves you or cares about you or cares about what they want to find out about you, your, some sort of uh, an information. Let's see a bit more here. Virgo, this person could be Leo, 
See, I knew it. I used the word obsessed even though the devil didn't come out because I could already feel it. So the devil, this person is obsessively thinking about you. Um, it's like a non-stop restless energy. I think they want to approach you or it could be them wanting like reviewing you. There's some sort of review. If this has something to do with work or people you work with, um, they're reviewing you for you know to see if you're doing your job or not whether to for some of you whether to fire you or to give you a raise um, or to transfer you it could be any of those things you should know like usually we call it the grapevine right in uh, the office in the workplace there will be some gossips here and there so it could also be somebody thinking about you today because they've heard some gossips about you. It could be amongst friends or amongst you know your peers, colleagues, uh, co-workers. Colleagues is a uh, British English. Co-worker is American. <laughs> I'm Malaysian. We all learn British English, but I lived in America for eight years, so you see like I will use words that are like a combination of British and American, just so you know. Um, anyways, we've got the Nine of Swords here. Uh, another card that is indicating where this person thinks about you a lot, okay? For some of you, it could be someone who wants to be intimate with you because the devil can be quite a sexual card, right? And the strength of a verse could mean that maybe both of you are not next to each other uh, right now. So they thinking a lot about you, thinking about going to see you. Could be someone at a distance or someone you're just not right next next to currently or today physically. Okay. I feel like this person cares so much about you. They may also be worrying. I don't know. I'm getting another very specific message here. Um, this person may be worrying whether you love them or not, whether you care about them or not or worrying about them falling in love with you and starting to get kind of weak, right? Strength and reverse, losing control over their feelings for you, okay? Because I feel like maybe this is somebody who has a very either negative connotation when it comes to love or maybe this connection. It also mean someone you're separated from or going through some issues. If not, it just feels like maybe this person has fear and commitment, but they now see your heart. They see who you are. Um, Ace of Wands. So it's getting serious. It feels like that because the Nine of Pentacles is holding a pentacle. So perhaps this person is thinking, okay, should I commit to Virgo or not? If there's a romantic connection, they could also be just watching you six of ones uh another thing i'm seeing here especially if you know that there's somebody whom you're connecting with or you like or you could be romantically connected to um they may feel like they could be thinking about okay if i choose to offer this commitment to virgo then i won't get that freedom to uh, flirt with other people or I won't get that freedom to do whatever I want to be admired I will have to you know release my other love options um, so it's something good but it's also something that they could fear they could be fearing that you know if they were to put their guards down and let you in and really really transition this connection to a more serious uh, committed relationship they're not sure if it's a, a good idea because ace pentacles here is in one verse so there's somebody maybe who has fear in commitment fear of re or fear of rejection especially if this is someone who kind of knows either you have someone else or that you're not like quite interested in them or maybe both of you are separated. Okay, Virgo, this is your reading. Hope it serves you well. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, my info is below. Subscribe anyways if you haven't yet, especially if you've been here before and if you were to find this reading to be useful. As you guys know, I post your readings every single day. 
They are all very new and updated. I never ever recycle any of my readings. This is why I mention the time and the date in the beginning of every single reading. And as we all know, that time uh, shifts, time, time shifts, energy shifts, um, things can change. So this is the channel where you can get all of your updates every single day. And Virgo, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. I'm not sure if I already mentioned that. If you want to be notified every time I post your videos, feel free to subscribe to all of my other channels as well. My main channel is Chelsea Love Tarot. I would normally go live over there. And also a Chelsea Vlogs, which is my travel channel. I'm pretty active uh, lately, posting like shorts mostly. Check them out if you want to. It's my, yeah, my vlog travel channel. Take care, Virgo. I hope to see you back here again soon. Love ya. Bye.